All right, so in this video, we're going to go over editing some of our existing database structure and entering some things, updating a few things. So we're going to do PSQL car dealership. Hop right in here, and we're going to check our tables. And then we're going to select all from models, because that's the table that we're going to actually mess with, right? So we want a couple more fields of information in here. So we're going to add those in. We're going to show off a couple different uh, ways to change that around. So starting off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to add, we're going to alter the table. We're going to add to the table. We're going to give a whole new column that's going to be uh, quota, and we're also going to make one called description. And we're going to make those two fields, and we're going to put them in there. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this command right here. So this is alter table, our table name. And we're going to add quota, which is going to be the name of the column row. And we're going to say that it wants to be an integer, a type array, right? So this is going to be an array of integers. So it's going to be an array of numbers. So essentially what it's going to end up looking at like is going to be something like this, right? So it'll be like, you know, 10, 10, 10, and like 20. Right, and that's we're not gonna. That's not a command, right? We're just gonna straight up insert that. But that is what it's basically gonna look like. And for the next thing that we're gonna put in, we're gonna go and we're gonna do alter table models. Then we're gonna add this description. That's gonna be var char. So that's just gonna be if it were, that's the type of of the input. That's what's gonna be what goes into it. So if I just try to put a bunch of text into an uh, integer array, it's not gonna work. And if I try to put an integer array into a random bar char, it's not, I don't think it's going to work, it might, probably not. So, we're going to go ahead and hit back here, see what this looks like. So now we have more columns, right? So, we're going to go and start putting some stuff in here. So, actually, first off, let me just say, like, let's, let's say that maybe we thought it through, and this description uh, column isn't quite what we want it to be named, so we're going to change the name over to something else, and what we're going to call it, it's just we're going to call it uh, model description, right? So this will come up. You're going to have to figure out like, hey, how do I rename something? So in this case, we're just going to alter the table again. Anytime you're changing something with the table, it's just going to be alter table, and we're going to rename column description to model description. So when we go back here and look at it, we can see it is now what we want it to be, right? All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and add in a some values for that Camry, right? So we're going to kind of change this uh, right here. So we're going to change this to equal Camry. That's where our uh, model name is going to be. And the description is going to be, it's a really great car. All right, so we're going to update models, and we're going to set the description to this value right here where the model name equals that, right? And actually we need to make sure. All right, so after changing around the query, I realized that I was trying to put in for description when we did change the name to model description. So even when you're staring right at it, sometimes it's hard to pay attention. So uh, you have to, for this query, we're updating the models and we're setting the model description to parentheses single quotes a really great car where the model name equals Camry and so that's where we're able to update based off of where something equals something so in like the converse of this we can go in and we can change the quantity with this right so I'm gonna set like the quantity equals and no say instead of 150 let's say equals 100 right We'll make sure we get rid of that. Get rid of that extra space. All right, we update that. 
And then when we select from models, we change our quantity right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in this quota right. So this one, we're gonna go ahead and I change this over because I haven't put the Tacoma in yet. I'm gonna say update this table, set the quota to equal this array. And we're gonna do like per quarter. So it'll be like 10, 10, 10, and the last quarter will be like 20. And these will be our sales goals, if you will, or quotas of what we have to sell. And we'll say where the model name equals Camry. All right, so what we've managed to do here is finally get the quota inserted. Uh, for a second there, it didn't want to play ball with the single quotes or the double quotes, so I had to mess with those a little bit. And these are some of the things that you'll find with the like syntax is like very particular. So sometimes when you're writing your queries, like I write them ahead of time and then I like cut and paste them in and then tweak them as I need to so I don't have to re-input uh, re the entire query every single time.